Hey guys, Mike Naparano with Novo Works Killer Imaging. Just want to put this quick video together showing you guys a walkthrough of our parts cleaner that we put together with a filtration system on it. Um, basically just to clean our squeegees and our other usable parts. So, hope you enjoy. Okay, so for this we use the Central Machinery 20 gallon parts cleaner from Harbor Freight, runs around $80. Um, for our chemicals we use the Plastisolve 842 cleaner and then you can see some of the other parts which I'll get into more details in the description. This is showing the uh, parts cleaner put together. Uh, we put it on one of the Harbor Freight pallets just so it's easily moved around. And then here's some of the parts that we used for the uh, filtration system. Here we have the uh, remote filter mount kit and some of the fittings. So we're basically just putting some uh, Teflon tape around the threads, putting the uh, fitting on the remote filter mount. getting that prepared for installation. So here you can see that we've already got the uh, unit put together at this point. We've already done some testing. So here we're removing the output of the pump so that we can uh, run into our new filtration piece. Basically just unscrew that, unthread it, and take that off. We'll use that piece later. Now we're putting our threaded insert into that pump. Now we're showing the side of the uh, unit just next to the pump. We're going to drill two holes so that we can feed the uh, fuel hose for the cleanser cleaner through there and go to our external filter. I'm using a unibit here after a normal drill bit to drill the pilot hole um, and we'll use the unibit to basically step up to the size that we need for the hose. Now drill on the second hole for the uh, other hose. So one of the hoses goes basically out of the pump and then into the filter. And then one of them goes out of the filter, back into the unit, and that'll go back to the output for our cleaning fluid.
What we're doing here is just uh, sanding down those rough edges, filing down, excuse me, those rough edges, um, cleaning them up so that there's no burrs or debris or any rough edges on those holes. Here you can see I've already attached the uh, fuel hose to the fitting on the, coming out of the pump. So we'll simply slide down the uh, clamp and get that clamped on. And then I'll feed the hose out of the body, which is gonna go into our filter. Okay, so on this uh, leg is where we're gonna mount the remote filter. Basically just kind of hold it up in place, mark the holes with a Sharpie. I found it easier to just mark the one, drill it out, put a bolt in place, then use that to hold it while we mark and drill the second hole. I'm just gonna measure down, cut the fuel line to length, slide on the clamp, and get this line installed. And this is of course going into the inside of the filter unit. Here you can see the pieces I'm using to um, attach this to 
the output side of the filter, which is gonna, and we're basically just gonna reuse that uh, stock that was attached to the pump. That's basically gonna give you the output of your cleaning solution. The washer I used here isn't really required, but I just added it to give a little bit more rigidity to support the weight and movement of the flex output shaft against the sheet metal of the case. So here, of course, I'm attaching the, uh, the hose and the hose clamp to that fitting that we just put in. And then after that, what we'll do is just measure down the line to the output side of the filter, cut that to length, and clamp that in place. All right, so everything's connected. The filter is installed. And now basically I'm gonna reattach the uh, parts washer brush that I had bought and added on to the output flex shaft. And we will turn everything on, prime the filter, and make sure everything's good. So anyhow, so that was a run through of the way that we did our uh, parts washer and our filter system for our screen printing. Um, about $160 in parts, uh, took less than, well, maybe an hour to put, including the, uh, the original kit for the uh, parts cleaner, um, and then adding on the, the filter um, and, the, and the brush. We'll put all the parts listed down below in the description. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up, like, etc. Uh, appreciate any comments and feedback. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.